Go out and baptize all nations. These words from our Lord are a command, not a suggestion. We must call the whole world to Christ. We must teach the world about Christ. We must love the world closer to Christ. We must go out to all nations on this earth and bring them into his one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. As the late and great Jesuit Father John Harden reminds us, any Catholic who is not about the business of evangelization might never entertain a serious hope of the beatific vision. Get your churchmilitant.tv premium account today so you can learn the sacred art of evangelization with our latest show, Baptize All Nations. Sign up today. Hi, I'm Michael Miller. Welcome to this first episode of Baptize All Nations. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. The winner of the 2014 United Nations Population Award has been given to Catholic Relief Service grantee Japigo, a pro abortion nonprofit health organization affiliated with John Hopkins University. According to a press release from the group, the award was given to Japigo for its four decades of work in creating access to innovative, high quality family planning and reproductive health services throughout the developing world. Last week, the Colorado Senate killed a bill that would have potentially banned all pro-life laws in the state. The Catholic Church in the Centennial State helped lead the charge to fight the bill, SB 175, asking for the citizens to pray and contact state legislators to vote against it. Denver Archbishop Samuel Aquila, who called the bill extreme and dangerously ambiguous, commented on Twitter saying, quote, Lift up your hearts in gratitude to God. Blessings on everyone who prayed and contacted legislators. Stay involved, end quote. The American Humanist Association has filed a lawsuit against Matawan Aberdeen Regional School District in New Jersey in hopes of removing Under God from the Pledge of Allegiance, claiming it discriminates against atheists under New Jersey state constitution. The school district's lawyer said the officials are merely following state law, which requires daily recit recitation of the pledge. According to an article from The Blaze, other states have faced similar lawsuits, including one in Massachusetts that has yet to be settled. On Holy Thursday, it was announced that Monsignor Ioannis Lazzi Gaid, a Coptic priest, has been made second personal secretary to Pope Francis. The Holy Father's previous secretary was moved to a new position as Secretary General of the Secretariat for the Economy, which now makes his old second secretary, Monsignor Lianis, his new first secretary. Monsignor Gaid will help Francis in his daily life by answering personal correspondence in, Pope's, in the Pope's name. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about Easter division. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. And may God bless you. Hi there, Church TV supporters. I'm Michael Voris. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. If you or someone you know is looking to sell or buy a home or a commercial property anywhere in the world, there's an amazing organization called Real Estate for Life that you should definitely check out. Real Estate for Life generously donates an average of $1,000 to churchmilitant.tv every time a home sale closes. It's a great way to support us here at CMTV. And don't forget, this comes at absolutely no cost to you. So please call or email Real Estate for Life today. All the information you need is in the description box. Michael Voris along with Rebecca Hasenauer for churchmilton.tv. God love you.